all right guys i'm back at it with another video this is josh back at it this is welcome to my channel uh workout plan is in the description you feel me make sure y'all check that out but today's video i'm gonna be talking about body game women respect you women do not argue with you women do not disrespect you especially publicly or even when you guys are just together um i really want to talk about this for a body game because a lot of people struggle with this a lot of people deal with this a lot of people don't understand that this is a snowball effect you feel me like when this starts off small it gets bigger you know what i mean i really want to talk to you guys about this because this is something that you need to know this is going to help you in your life whether you're young whether you old if you don't know this you need to know this game you need to understand this so body game is she respects you when she's speaking to you you know verbally and she's not you know uh tearing you down she's not saying anything crazy to you. she's not cursing you out and this comes from uh one your physique is very very important physically when somebody's looking at you it's one the physique and then two is how you carry yourself it is your demeanor it's your aura it's your energy it's your behavior these two are very very important when it comes to women when it comes to people in general it just just the way you carry yourself is very very important especially as you get older especially when you're younger this is something you need to learn this is something you have to check this is how something you have to be cautious and aware of because people will try to embarrass you you know what i'm saying people will try to disrespect you publicly and uh first things first is that when somebody looks at you one of the first things you want them to understand is them to be able to decipher that this is a man that you are talking to this is not a teenager this is not a boy you know i know we all grow at different pace everything like that but when somebody's look, looking at you they need to know that you are a man they need to know that you are masculine you need to have masculine uh physique you need to have a masculine frame you, people need to know that this is a man you feel me like you can be everything you could be uh you can like these you could be creative you could be in the fashion everything but people need to know how you carry yourself that you are masculine that you are a man because this right here will determine how people will treat you and the treatment of you depends on your emotions you know what i mean saying so, you know what i'm saying like people are treating you bad your emotions are going to be all out of whack you know what i'm saying so you don't want anybody to try and test you playing with you especially if you're in school you know what i mean and you have you handle this by one, looking masculine, and two, how you behave. I made a video about this, about aura. People can feel when it's masculine energy in the room. You know what I'm saying? If you've been around older men, if you're younger, if you're in school, if you have coaches and everything like that, you understand when you're dealing with somebody who will call you out on your BS, you know what I'm saying? Will correct you when you're wrong, you know what I'm saying? Will discipline you when it's needed, you know what I'm saying? Or when you feel like you talking out of pocket, talking out of turn, you feel me? And it's like, a lot of times men don't understand that you know women are also looking at this they're looking at how men are treating you they're looking at how men are respecting you but when a woman lose respect for you it's the worst thing ever because that's the only thing that we require as men is respect that's the first thing and that's the last thing is respect because if you don't have respect a person will treat you any type of way and they cannot love you if somebody doesn't respect you they cannot love you because they will treat you in any way that they feel that is best you know what i'm saying that's not a good feeling to have we all been through that you know what I'm saying we all have somebody who's just like you know what I'm saying they wasn't acting right whether we cut them off or whatever but just the fact of them trying you like that or figuring out like that you know that's how you need to be treated it's not good so you deal with that with your behavior how you carry yourself how you walk how you interact with other people you have to understand that people are always watching you you know what I'm saying whether it be a joke whether it be like uh, with your with your friends they're looking at what you laugh at what you tolerate the disrespect you tolerate with your friends with disrespect you tolerate with other people and you have to understand that people are learning on how to treat you they're learning your temperament they're learning what pisses you off what makes you happy everything like that and this can be dangerous because somebody can trigger you intentionally and then get you upset so you have to be able to understand how you are as a person to remove yourself from certain situations and i say this by behavior is that you have to be the same you cannot switch up because if you switch up being that you're masculine one day feminine the other day you know emotional okay you don't know people will test you because they don't know how to treat you they don't know how to respond to you and they don't know what they're going to get every day so a part of being masculine is being the same being consistent it's almost like if you're going to work you know what i'm saying going to work at the same time people need to expect 
you and expect how to treat you expect how you are because this is a thing that comes with your name you know what i mean so when you are consistent when you are yourself when you are masculine when you are in a masculine frame daily people will not try you people will not test you because they understand if they do you will correct them and that's another thing too with behavior when people talk out of pocket or people trust you in a in a crazy way or they say some wild stuff you have to check it like that's one of the main things like with masculine people don't understand this is goes for people who have a nice body or who don't have a body you have to check somebody you know what i'm saying somebody saying something crazy to you or if somebody is not respecting you especially if it's in a group setting you have to check that because they will not stop and people will learn how to disrespect you like i want to make sure you hear that people will learn how to disrespect you and they will keep continuously doing that because they feel like if you're not going to check this person it's not fair for you to check me if you don't check this other person if they can talk to you any kind of way why can i talk to you any kind of way so then in their head subconsciously they're going to try you on every occasion they're going to try you when you least suspect it. they're going to try you when your emotions are high you know what i'm saying or when it's uh it's it's the opportune time to say a joke or whatever they're going to test you and it's not a good feeling because once that happens and you do not do anything you are going to be lab labeled as weak and that's never good because people will continuously press your buttons people will continuously trigger you people will continuously say things to you and you have to hold a masculine behavior like a masculine frame because if not your life will be a living hell you know what I'm saying people will constantly cut you in line people are constantly um you know take things from you steal from you uh disrespect you talk bad about you to other people and it's because they feel like it's no repercussion they feel like it's no it's no uh nothing's gonna happen you know what i'm saying it's just like you know if you take from from somebody and nothing happens not everybody's gonna be like they're gonna they're, not everybody has a guilty conscience you have to understand not everybody moves that way you know what i'm saying some some people you have to correct because if not there's gonna be continuously problems and you don't deserve that. So that's what, that's what I'm learning. That's something I had to learn too, is like, you gotta check folks, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be on something like, nah, that's not what I like. That's not how I roll. That's not how I do things. And you can do it quick. You don't have to be disrespectful, but you have to be stern when you know what I'm saying. You have to be like, okay, like, I don't appreciate this or you know you're gonna stop doing you know what I'm saying you gotta have figure out what tone tone works best works best with you figure out what works best with like adults if you are younger you know what I'm saying you ain't gotta be super disrespectful but at the same time you need to stand on your principle and if anything if you feel like you need to remove yourself remove yourself nobody can fault you for removing yourself you know what I'm saying if somebody's saying just some disrespectful you know be say your piece leave you know what I'm saying because you don't want to be in a a toxic environment and staying in that and dealing with that because that's not good for your mental health that's not good for you physically and that's not something that you need to be involved in if anything just remove yourself if you don't somebody like a woman disrespect you or whatever like that just do not be around that because you don't want to be angered you don't want to think about things that could, could potentially get you like in harm's way and so some people don't care you know what I'm saying? they'll do that so but that's the main thing i want to talk about which is like you know uh, you have to be respected. That's one thing because if you're not respected, people are looking on how they can disrespect you. You know what I'm saying? Because they want to. If they disrespect you, they feel like they're higher because it's no repercussions. It's no. It's no action. It's no consequence. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Really want to talk about that real quick. Tell you guys to be in a masculine frame, masculine um, setting, like masculine aura, because it will stop a lot of problems that you have verbally with people. Just don't play with them just be serious you know what i mean so that's the end of the video make sure you like comment subscribe i'll be back with another video i'm out